Hello and welcome to That's Just Prime, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Optimus Prime, and I love this toy. But before we do, if you haven't done so already, please take a moment to consider subscribing to the channel. It won't cost you anything, but it'll help me and it'll help the channel grow. Additionally, if you'd like to further help out the channel, please hit that notification icon so you're notified when I upload a new videos and come back and check out the channel often. I usually upload one to two videos a week, sometimes more. Finally, if you'd like to further help out the channel, I have placed the donate button up at the top banner. If you want to hit on that, I would certainly appreciate it. So here we have Earthrise Optimus Prime. I've been really looking forward to this figure. He's brand new, released in February of 2020. He's starting to hit store shelves right now as of the time of this recording. He is packaged as a leader class figure, so he is retailing for approximately $50. And I'm kind of on the fence on that. Um, realistically, he is a Voyager figure. Now, granted, he is a good size Voyager figure. He's a little taller than some of the other Voyager class figures. But because he does come with the trailer and all the other stuff, uh, he is packaged or marked as a leader class. So I can accept that. Now, checking out the packaging, of course, we got on this. Well, on the, starting with the front. Obviously, we can start right here with the window box. Prime is packaged in his robot mode. And you can see the trailer right there behind him. Over on the side, we've got that Earthrise artwork once again. Very cool artwork. And then over on this side, really cool artwork of Optimus Prime right there. Absolutely love the way that looks. And then finally, on the back side, we've got some product shots of Optimus Prime in both truck mode and in vehicle mode, as well as some of the action features that you can do with the trailer, uh, how you can interact the vehicle, or sorry, rather the robot with the trailer. And of course, that feature with the link up with the little shield there. And we're going to be looking into that a little more later. So, let's get Optimus Prime out of the package and check it out. Autobots, roll out! And here we have Prime out of the package and in his vehicle mode. But real quick, he also comes packaged with his instruction sheet and a decoder and the thing that you can do with the decoder is if you look at the inside at the pack of the packaging itself the little insert that comes inside of the box you can use the decoder here to find the planet that comes uh, signed to prime i guess and uh, there it is right there planet micron not really sure what this is about i guess this is kind of in the same lines as the um gimmick that the siege figures had with the black light um i don't know i'm guessing you have to go online and and put this in somewhere I'm not familiar with the game. Um, quite frankly, I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm not really into this. Uh, I think the decoder, bringing back the decoder is cool, but I think I would have preferred to see maybe tech specs on the back of the package, uh, kind of like uh, the G1 figures did. I think that would have been a little more useful information than than a, than a planet. I don't know, I guess. But anyway, instructions, decoder, and the thing the, inside the insert. That's about it for that. And let's check out Optimus Prime again in his vehicle mode. Absolutely fantastic beautiful beautiful figure overall i mean i've got some minor gripes they're really really minor gripes but overall this is kind of like the definitive figure at least the one that i've been waiting for uh, for me this is the figure that in my mind in my imagination this is what i was playing with when i was in the fourth grade playing with my g1 figure in my mind this was it um, also, this is the figure that I've been waiting for since the 2006 Classics uh, Optimus Prime came out. Uh, not, not to take anything away from that figure, that is a fantastic figure, but it is a modern take on G1, and, and, and I wanted an actual definitive G1. So since that figure came out, this is the Prime that I've been waiting for, and I absolutely adore everything about this figure. Here in truck mode, Optimus Prime is approximately five and a half inches long at the cab, about two and a half inches tall, uh, two and three quarters if you want to go to the top of the smokestacks there. The trailer is approximately seven inches long, about three and a half, uh, three and a quarter inches long. So that gives us a combined length here of about 10 inches. He rolls really, really nicely and he looks absolutely amazing going all the way around so you can go to, get a, go, a good 360 full view of this uh, vehicle minor gripe around the back here i don't like this back uh, <laughs> the, i know what they're doing here with the gimmick with the little panels that can all kind of combine and they're all playable with all the figures so i understand why they did this i think this would have been better served if it was like maybe an added accessory that was inside of the trailer rather than the back door itself i think it would have been better if we had an actual working back door 
that you could open up and, and use as a ramp. As it is, you can kind of, as you saw there, pry it open just a little bit so that you can bring this down. And you've got a ramp there, although it doesn't serve much of a purpose, unfortunately, because the only other figure so far that fits in here is Cliff Jumper. And I've got some weapons in here, but Cliff Jumper is really the only other figure that fits in there. None of the other figures fit in there. I was really hoping Wheeljack would fit in there, and he doesn't. So that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, I think the trailer is a little smaller uh, than it could have been. I, I think they could have made the trailer just a little bigger. But going back around here just to look at the paint apps, the paint apps are absolutely fantastic. Minor gripe, I don't understand the decision that was made here. So you can see that on the trailer, we have actual rolling wheels. Again, we don't have those fake wheels. We got actual rolling wheels painted in silver. The back wheels of the truck are painted in silver. And then the front wheels of the truck are not painted. They are gray. I don't understand that decision. So again, Prime itself, the figure uh, in the truck here, the paint apps on this are absolutely breathtaking with the exception of that wheel. But then the trailer, they gave us a completely unpainted trailer, just, just a gray unpainted trailer. And uh, other than you know, just the stripes, the, the, the emblem and the silver wheels, that's about it as far as details go for the trailer. I think I'm gonna take some an airbrush and paint this silver. This really needed to be a silver trailer. If this matched this, I think this would look beautiful. But uh, again, you know, just some of the minor gripes there, the back door, the lack of paint on the trailer and the lack of paint on the front wheels here. Other than that, fantastic figure. Now, real quick for comparison, here he is next to the Classics figure. So you can see what these guys look like together. And the Classics Voyager was, you know, considerably bigger than this one right there. So there's that one. And then we've got the Siege. Optimus Prime right here, this is the one with the classic animation colors. And I know what you're all going to ask. I can hear you asking already, so we'll go ahead and do it now. Will the trailer work on the Siege figure? And the answer is, yes, it will. Works absolutely perfectly fine. The molds are close enough together that they'll work together. There you go. So that does work. Set that back over there. And then finally, we'll bring in, let's get this guy over here. And we will bring in the G1 Optimus Prime. So you can see what these guys look like together. They're gonna to be kind of hard to get on screen together, I guess. But you know what, why don't we do this? Let's just put them, can we do this one on top of the other? Yeah, the, the new one is, I guess, small enough. Which kind of goes to prove my point right there. This is a perfect uh, point of view right here. So the cab is actually a little bigger than the original toy yet the trailer is so much smaller than the original one would have been. We really could, could have used a little more size on this trailer, a little longer, maybe a little taller, not much, but just a little bit taller and a little wider so that the figures could fit in there. It still would have looked good and proportionate to the cab and it would have been more of, you know, at, at, a, at a leader class price point, we could, we could have gotten a lot more playability out of that figure or out of the trailer rather. And here we have one more comparison shot. Here is Prime next to the rest of the Autobots that have been released so far in the Earthrise Wave 1. Absolutely love this shot. I absolutely adore every single one of these figures so far. So getting into transformation, first we're gonna start off with the trailer, separate these guys so you can kind of see what the trailer does. So we'll go ahead and just take that off. There's a peg and a port right there, simple as that. And then you've got little landing feet right here. You can just fold these down and the trailer can stand on its own. Real quick, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, open this up right there, bring the ramp down. And you can see I've already got all of the weapons for the other Autobots in here. So yes, it does serve its function as a weapons platform as well as a repair bay. So we can come up here and just kind of take the uh, little drone piece and bring them out. And you can uh, also tilt this up and bring the little arms down. Yeah, he gets a little tall, which is a good thing. And again, very cool detail. Just kind of bringing this in close. Very cool detail. It's it's all there. A lot of detail inside of the trailer as well. Just no paint. N just just nothing. I'm I'm really hoping for a toy hacks. Um, Repro label set or something uh, to help us out here. And I'm also probably gonna take some paint to this myself because it's just it's just lacking in paint. The molded detail is all there. The color detail is just not 
Um, but anyway, so there's that. This is also removable, so you can just take this off, and we'll look at this a little later, but there it is. It is removable. It just pegs in right there on these two pegs on the top there. And But right now, the main reason I came in here was to get Prime's weapon. As you can see, I got Prime's weapon uh, put right there. So we got these little peg, uh, or porch rather, uh, four on each side, one right there in the center to uh, hold the other weapons down. So that's there's that. We'll go ahead and set them off to the side for now, bring Prime in here. And what I wanted to show you here is if you want to um, use Prime without the trailer, you can take the weapon and fold it and peg it in right there so the weapon can be carried and, and this will work also with the trailer even with the trailer attached you can have the weapon there if you wish or you can keep it in the trailer the way that i do so there you go very cool and just kind of taking a look at prime without the trailer so you can see a little more of those details right here in the back you can see a lot of this is reused from the siege line but that's okay because it works fine here and uh, just some details going all the way all around so getting in the transformation again the first thing we're going to do is remove that weapon and mine is super tight. My goodness. Okay, very tight. <laughs> so remove the weapon, uh, unfold it, and there you go. There's Prime's rifle right there. We'll go ahead and set that off to the side for now, and we'll get started with Prime himself. So, or you know, when I first saw pictures of this figure, I thought that this was a, uh, a, a slight retool of the Siege figure. There are some borrowed parts, but for the most part, it's a completely different skeleton. It's a completely different figure. I was really surprised at how different the two figures are. Very, very cool stuff. But you, that being said, you are going to be seeing some similarities here in how we're going to transform the figure. So starting right here with the gas tanks, we'll go ahead and just pop these in. You can see that there's a tab in the port right there. So just bring these in and tab them into place. Get them out of the way. And you can go ahead and uh, let's see. Let's take the wheels here. We're going to pop these forward. Take these little tabs here. All these panels, pop these forward just to kind of get everything out of the way right there, right there. And let's go work on the legs. So we can go ahead and bring the legs down from here. And you can see that there's a, there we go, right there and there. That's where it's going to rotate. So bring that all the way down. We can work on the legs, bring these panels down like so, separate them and then open up the toes. That's going to be about it for the legs. Not as much work as the Siege figure was. So that's a good thing. So there we are. We're done with that. Move the camera on up. And work on the upper body so as you can see the arms right here classic prime transformation arms so just go ahead and bring these out and we we'll just bring them up and over for now just to get them out of the way uh let's see okay so we have these two panels here we can go ahead and push these in push those up and out of the way right there and we can go ahead and uh yeah separate the front of the vehicle from the bumper like so which is going to give us a good opportunity to go ahead and rotate this guy all the way around Bring this bumper up and bring the wheels in the place there. And now we're going to go around here to the front. Open this all the way up. Now that you have this open, go ahead and open this panel in the back here. And rotate his head out. And then close this back up. There's a little tab right there and a port right there. So you can peg those together. That's going to give us some clearance to work inside here. So now we're going to take these panels here for the front. Fold these in. We're going to take these fold these in and then we're going to unclip that and fold it all the way in like so bring this down and tab it into place you can see prime taking shape right there come over here to the arms open these panels up bring out the fists same thing on this side and we'll get them all straightened out and there it's earthrise optimus prime in robot mode and what can i possibly say about this figure that you aren't seeing already absolutely breathtaking beautiful fantastic figure here in robot mode prime stands approximately seven inches tall and this is again in my opinion the definitive modern g1 optimus prime the one that i've always been wanting absolutely gorgeous gorgeous figure coming in close let's take a look at the head mold so pretty much the same head sculpt that we had with the siege figure uh, just a little bit of colors, I think. And just kind of looking at the rest of the detail. Let's get them in focus. So, yeah, just just perfectly um, proportioned. Uh, the arms, the or the legs, the I mean, everything is just, just really, really well done. The detail is really nice. Maybe a little better paint on the thighs and the hip skirts here. Uh, they're, again, that unpainted gray. Uh, maybe a, a silver paint or a uh, white, even. Uh, might have served a little better. I think in this case, silver since the stripe and the, and the grill or silver uh, would have been a little better there. 
uh, just going all the way around no back cable nothing at all nothing on the sides there the back is pretty clean we got the two wheels back here which uh, I have heard some people complain about these. I really don't think they're that uh, they're that big of a deal. They're, they don't show off that much. They don't stick out. Uh, even in, in, in person, even less. I, I, in pictures, I kind of saw it in pictures. And I went, ah, yeah, I can kind of see it a little bit. When you see it in person, it's, it's really no bother at all. This is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous figure. Articulation head is on a ball joint, up and down, side to side. Shoulders can move all the way around, in and out. Rotation at the bicep, bend at the elbow, rotation at the wrist, and the fingers can also open like that. Thanks to the uh, transformation, we do have waist rotation. However, that is going to be a little hindered because of that panel in the back there with the wheels. The uh, legs can go forwards, backwards that much because, again, of that bumper back there. They can go in and out. You can rotate at the thigh, bend at the knee. And then you have the toes can, you know, kind of move up and down again. This is due to transformation, so can the heel. And you've got that side to side ankle tilt. So you can do some really wide poses and uh, go surfing, I guess, or learn how to skateboard <laughs> or something like that. So there you go. Uh, I really like what they did with the arms here, where the, or, or with the fists rather, where they are molded in such a way where you can open the fingers up like this. Try to get that in focus. However, it's still molded in a way where the weapon can be placed in there. And even if the fingers are open, it doesn't really matter. He's still holding it. So I really like that little detail a lot. Very, very nice looking figure. We got a couple more things we can do here still. We can open up the windows and these are tight. Okay, thank goodness that one opened easy. <laughs> Usually these are tight and hard to open. So there you go. You can open these up. And there is a matrix inside. It is removable. It's a little difficult to remove. There we go. And you can take a look at the matrix. Try to get that in focus. There you go. Really, really nice matrix on both sides. So you can pop it back in there. doesn't matter which way. He can hold it in his hands. Uh, I have tried and I have tried and I have tried uh, to make him hold it in both hands. In a way that it looks like he's opening it up and... Uh, Lighting our darkest hour, uh, it's just not possible. He just does not have the articulation to hold it in both hands. It's kind of small. He can't really get a good grip on it. Uh, but th there you go. That's kind of on the fly. Cool little pose right there that I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, you can do some stuff with it. Uh, but for the most part, it just stays in its chest. Oh, we got to pop that back in there. And uh, let's bring in the trailer so you can see what these guys look like together. And, again, very, very cool stuff going on here. Move it up a little bit. And uh, as I showed you earlier, you can take this off. So we'll go ahead and take this off. And I thought that there's there's something like there's a little bit of playability here. There is a peg right here on the back of the of the drone, and there's a port back here on the back of Prime. So you can kind of peg that in there, and I guess he can kind of have this thing up over his shoulders <laughs> or over his head rather. So I guess that's a thing that you can do. And if you have some of those, I don't have any on hand right now, but if you have any of those uh, weapons effects, I guess you could put those there, kind of make it look like a little cannon shooting out of his back there. So that's a thing, I guess. Um, another thing I had hoped that you could do, and you kind of can, uh, but it doesn't look as good as I had hoped, is to kind of turn it around this way and kind of make a jetpack for him. Uh, but I think it's just a little too high. In my, in my opinion. But anyway, it, it can be done if you want. Again, you can put some fire effects right there and just kind of have a jetpack for them. So, you know, you, you got a little bit of playability with the drone, which I think it's really cool. It's not really something that they've given us before other than turning him into an actual mounted cannon. Uh, to have him come, up, come off like that, removable, and actually be interactive with the figures is pretty, pretty cool. We'll get that guy back in there. And again, he'll fit in there just fine. He can stand right in there. Uh, now, there was a, or there is, Jason, the Patriot Prime, sent me this. You, you, if you guys watched his review, he reviewed a couple of these uh, 3D printed accessories. And uh, he had two of these rollers, so he was kind enough to send me one of them. Uh, and we were really hoping that this was going to work with this. Unfortunately, it's too big. So when it's sideways like this, yes, sure, that'll work. Uh, but as far as close, you won't be able to close the trailer because it's just a little too wide. It just won't fit in there, which is unfortunate, but... If you guys wanted to see what that would look like together, there it is. That's what that is going to look like together. So hopefully we can get a smaller uh, printed version of this that'll work with this, and that'll be really, really nice. We'll go ahead and set that guy off to the side. Where did I have him? I think I had him up here on my shelf. And, oh, one more thing. So we did have this piece back here, so we can actually pop this off. 
And again, as you can see, the trailer will stand just fine without it. So this will work as a shield. You can, you, you do have a peg and you do have a port on his arm. So again, we can bring that same shield feature that he had with the siege figure. We can replicate that here. There you go. So you can put that there. You can put it on his back. You can do whatever you want with this or just leave it on the trailer, which is what I do. But this has those uh, clip and ports deals there so that it'll be able to clip on with other figures and interact with other figures. So you can like clip this onto, I've done it a couple of times, I've clipped this onto hoist. So that hoist can actually tow some uh, some vehicles uh, because on his own he can't, but with the help of this, I've actually been able to um, actually tow some vehicles, which has been kind of cool. So uh, let's get this guy out of the way and let's do some more comparisons. Here we have the classic. Uh, or the classics Optimus Prime one more time so you can see what these guys look like together and again this guy a little bigger in truck mode but in robot mode there are the same height so you can see what those guys look like together once again with G1 Prime so you can see what these guys look like together and then finally I'm dropping stuff all over the place here finally here he is with Siege Prime so you can see what these guys look like together and finally why not let's just go ahead and do it on camera we'll bring in the rest of the siege autobots so that you can see what these guys look like together i i cannot tell you again how much i am loving this this uh, earthrise line at least the autobots you know you guys have heard me say this before a while ago i said that i was going to cut down on my spending and my uh, shopping transformers um, <laughs> on my purchases I was only going to stick to G1 figures, Masterpiece, and any Optimus Prime figures from, from the lines. Uh, as far as any other figures from the line, I really had to like it a lot to pick it up, like I did with the Siege Megatron. I picked up two of those. I kind of broke my rule on that figure because I really, really, really like that figure. Uh, these Earthrise Autobots have been extremely difficult not to purchase. Obviously, they're in front of me. I've purchased every single one of them. I'm absolutely loving this line so far so you know what i was gonna just leave prime here by himself for the outro but i'm just gonna leave it as this because this is a really really cool shot and i think that about covers the transformers earthrise war for cybertron optimus prime let me know what you think of this figure give me some thumbs up subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see as always thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you next time on that's just prime